one do we need for this project? I've got the Rikurumi cotton, the yellow, which is 006. I have my three crochet hook. Then I have my PVA glue, a toilet roll, and I have glued a piece of yellow card onto it just so that it would be hidden, um, you know, that you can't tell that it's a toilet roll. Um, the leftover card, so this was an A4 sheet, the leftover card I'm going to put behind the star. And to attach it to each other, I have, yes, a stapler. You could also use hot glue, but I am trying not to use it. <laughs> I don't know why. I love using it. Anyway, so that's what we need for that. So let's get started. So let's get started. We are going to do a slip knot. Insert your hook. Pull the loop closed. And let's do four chains. One, two, three, and four and we go back to that first chain and we go into it we pull up a loop and pull that loop through the loop on your hook chain one we are going to do nine single crochets in this circle so we are going to insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, so two, four, six, seven, and eight. So that eighth one is the one that we are going to go under. And we are going to do a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. We now have nine Vs going around the edge of our work. Now we are going to chain up two. I chain up two for a double crochet, so if you chain up three, go ahead, but I'm doing the two. And in each stitch around, we are going to do two double crochets. So the chain is going to count as our last double crochet, and I am just going to put two in each stitch except in that last one we've already got our second one so i'm just going to put in the one so i will see you when you get here i have just done my last double crochet skipping the two chains here under that v i am going to do my slip stitch there we go okay now we are going to chain up two. In the first stitch we are going to do a double crochet. In the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet. So in essence we have three double crochets next to each other. Now we are going to chain two and then in the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet. In the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet and in the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet then we chain two so this is what we are going to be repeating three double crochets so one another one in the next stitch oops And another one then you chain two okay so this is how you'll continue your round until you meet the chain again
So I've done my last chain two. I'm skipping this chain here into that V there to do my slip stitch. There we go. It's not lying flat. It will work out in the end, don't worry. So we're going to chain up two. Then we are going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, now this is a little bit confusing because of where we chained up. Okay, now what we are going to do from now on, let me just explain it on this side and then I will come back to there and you will understand. So chain two, in each stitch, in, each, in the three stitches here, you are going to, in the first one, you're going to do two double crochets. Then, however many you've got here, because this will increase, you just do one double crochet on top of the one double crochet or, you know, as long as that lasts. And then the last double crochet, you again do two. OK, so this is how we are going to increase the points of our star here, because we started with the chain and that chain always ends up at the end of that stitch here. We are going to add a second double crochet when we get there, okay, when we move in from here. So the, this one will be a little bit different, but it will be fine. You will see what you have to do. So you just start crocheting, put the two at the end, work your way around, and then you finish whatever you need to do here, putting the second one in the first one and then m moving on along there. OK, so this is what you're going to do. So chain two, the first double crochet, you put two double crochets. Then you put one. And then in the last one, you put two again. So I will see you at the end of the round where we're going to complete this one here. So two, one, two, chain two. So I've made it to the end of my round here, but remember we have to finish this first section here. So yarn over in with that chain you are going to do there into that stitch there. You're going to do that double crochet, which it should have had. So there we go. OK, so now every section here has two, one, two. OK, so once again, chain up two. But again, you're not in the beginning. So here, yes, that's correct. You have to have one on top of here. But this is the first double crochet. So I should have two there. But we're going to do those when we get there from the other side. OK, so for now, we're just going to continue doing what we should be doing and that is doing double crochets on top of the double crochets and on the last one you do two and on the first one you do two and you chain two so the first one here I'm going to put two double crochets in and then you just do one double crochet on top of every double crochet in that same little section here until you reach the last double crochet and that's where you do two okay chain two and that's how you will continue and i will meet you here to finish off this section OK, so I have finished that round or nearly anyway, so I've now got to work out what I'm doing here. So this is the first double crochet. So I need to do two double crochets in there. And then we go to that chain and we do a slip stitch here. OK, now you need to keep doing the same thing now. OK, so we chain up work our double crochets, the last one we do two, chain two, the first one we do two, we do our double crochets, the last one we do two, chain two, okay? And you keep doing this, and this was my trial piece here. 
you keep doing this until here you have 11 double crochets so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so that's what we need um, when you have a piece that's this size so 11 in each section that's when you need to come back and that's when we are going to start making the points of our stuff so I will see you then Right, so I've made it um, to my sections with 11 double crochet. So I've just done my last stitch. I've got the two chains here and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now, <clears throat> before we go any further, see, I can't do this because I'm not sitting properly at my desk because I want to show you something. I've got little Miss Madam helping me. Look. So she's looking at the desk and at all the stuff that's on there. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, I'm just going to tell you what to do, okay? Now, we are not in the right place. So what I am going to do, this section here is not going to be used for a point. We're going to make five points and this point is going to be where the toilet roll will be to um, put it on the tree like so. Okay, so you'll put, put it on the tree there and then you'll have your five points sticking out there. So what we are going to do here is we are going to slip stitch to the location where we have to be. Okay. So you slip stitch all the way to the end of that section and I'll just go in, in between the chain two as well. Try to do one into the chain two so it connects there. Can you see it? Because like I said, I'm not in the best position here. Um, and then I do one so I am... Oh, yeah. Yes, she went too. She's off. <laughs> uh, so I am here where I need to be f for starting the first point okay so I am now going to be very naughty and I'm going to go ahead and do my four points then I'm going to do the fifth point together with you so then I can straight away show you what it looks like so I will see you in a few moments okay so this is how it works earlier we slip stitched to there then I started doing my reductive reduction rounds um, but of course you're only making one point so at the end you cut off and then you start again okay so each time for each point you have to start again and cut off start again cut off start again cut off so this is where I'm at at the moment so I'm going to show you the last one okay but basically all five points are the same because um, you know, it's the same reduction that you're doing, but obviously here you are you are slip stitched and you just chain, and then you do your first round. Um, in all the other ones, you just have to restart. So, uh, you find the end, <laughs> and you do a slip knot, and with your hook into the loop, there you go. Um, you're going to get started with a yarn over into the first stitch there and you do a double crochet okay so the first round is just a whole round of double crochets so it's not a round it's just a row um, and you're basically just repeating um, the amount of stitches that you had in the last section uh, in the last row of that section and that is 11 so I am nearly there and then we will have a count there we go so 2 4 6 8 10 11 okay so we have a confirm that's what I call a confirmation round 
Now we are going to do a decrease round. We are doing a chain two to turn, okay? That chain is going to count as a stitch, but we need to reduce our stitches. So we're not going to do it with the chain. We are going to do it with the next two stitches here. So here we do two double crochets over two stitches and we do them together like so. So that's one, two stitches that we now have left for the next round and we had three to start with. So now we are going to do double crochets all the way to the other side and once you have just two stitches left Nope, that's three, another one. Okay, so now I have two stitches left. Those ones I am going to do together. So you start one, and then here, difficult to get in because it's, yeah, I got in any way you can is fine because it's a, you know, standing stitch. There we go. So we just have the one stitch instead of the two. So now we have two, four, six, eight and then the one stitch here the chain nine stitches and we had 11 before that's correct and we are now doing a confirmation round so chain up and turn and you are now doing nine stitches nine double crochets along the line and this is how you are going to continue so you will have 11 then two nines, then two sevens, two fives, and then we get to the smaller numbers, three, and then we put them together. Okay, so there we go. So that's two, four, six, no, <laughs> two, four, six, eight, and then one more. We have nine. I thought I was on the seven row. <laughs> okay, this is a confirmation row chain two, turn, and now we do a reduction row. So we do these two together and the last two we do together. No, that was just the one loop I picked up. And having done this quite a few times, <laughs> this is why I wanted to do the, the, other, the other ones first, so I had had a bit of practice there we go so let me just see one two three four five six and i need seven so we are doing a half double uh, a double crochet and a double crochet and we do them together there we go okay now confirmation oops i lost it there right so turn and now we are doing seven double crochets three four five six and seven there we go okay once again we are doing a reduction round because that's what we have to do that's our next So one, two, and we have to end up with five this time. Three, four, and now these last two here are going together into the chain. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay confirmation round so you just keep turning chain counts one two three or oh, well actually yes the chain counts and then you don't count it so one two three four and then into this chain here five chain up and we turn again And now we do two double crochets together. And then once again here, we
we've got two left so all we need to do is yeah do two double crochets together okay so now we have three stitches left chain up and turn again and you do the three hang on oh why isn't it going in yeah so you do the three together there we go so there's no need for a confirmation round on that one there okay so once you have three that's when you're going to stop so this is what my start looks like at the moment i am now going to sew in all the ends cut off this one here and then i am going to attach it to oh, why? the piece of paper that i have left over so i'm going to make sure that nearly all of the star is on the paper i shall cut some off and i'll put it on there so i make up for the points and then once it's on the paper i'm going to put this behind there so that you can put it on the top of your tree so i will be back in a few moments to show you how i finished my star and i will be using my pva glue to glue it on see you in a moment right here's my piece of paper and here is my star i've put <laughs> maybe i should have used hot glue um i've put oh yeah paper yeah so i've put glue all over it there we go some glue on my thing as well and on my desk why not okay so now I'm going to let this dry on the radiator so it would dry quite quickly also the PVA glue you don't um, you know it, it just disappears so you don't see it anymore um, maybe I should put something behind the points I don't know I think I quite like it like this so once it's dry I will cut it out and then attach this I will see you later so I managed to cut off the bits of paper that were too many here and then um, even though I had to sort of prise a little bit off there we go I stapled that on and then I also needed a staple at the back here which I just did from the back and you can't really see the ends here so I think that worked out really well and it does stand up and it can be used for putting on your tree so i hope you enjoyed making this star thank you very much for watching and i will see you not so quickly because this was the last day of our advent calendar and i hope that you have enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful happy christmas bye if you are new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, please find the red subscription button and click on it. It is free. You will then see a bell sign. Click on that too, so you are notified of every new video I upload. You can also find links to my social media right above that. Mm -hmm.